On Sunday, several groups of people clashed with police in central Tunis. Many cars and shops were also burned and damaged. Mohamed Ghannouchi, Tunisia's interim prime minister, was forced to resign after five people died in the unrest. He was replaced by Beji Kait Sepsi. We have three victims. So far, we have removed the bullets from two of them and will soon carry out the autopsies. Ghanoushi's resignation was the main demand expressed by several thousand demonstrators who gathered in central Tunis. In the biggest demonstration the capital has seen since the ouster of former President Ben Ali on January 14th. We are happy to hear the news of Ghanoushi's resignation, but we still have other demands. We want a new government and a new constitution. The old constitution of Ben Ali is out of the picture now. A National Committee for the Protection of the Revolution, formed on February 11th, advocates wider reaching reform to guarantee media freedom and judicial independence. A day full of emotion. Violence again invited the city of Tunis. A new turning point to Tunisia. People are waiting for a better tomorrow. Wasim Ben Arhouma, Press TV, Tunis.